What's going on guys, DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Salsa video. Today what we're gonna be doing is diving into the Salsa app. I'm gonna show you how I create events, how I add overlays or templates to my events. And I'm also gonna jump into Photoshop a little bit and show you how I create those overlays and also how I send those to the iPad to be used for the events. That's coming up next. All right, guys, so first off, we're going to open up our Salsa app. I'm going to make sure I get our screen recording here. So screen's recording on the iPad. From the home screen here on this in the app, you can see this is the past events that I've done. You can delete these at any time. I just have been saving these ones just because why not? Um, but to start out here, uh, I just want to show you a few things. So to create an event, you go to create event, you create a title. So we're gonna title this one. Uh, let's see, what do we wanna call it? We're gonna call it Salsa Tutorial. There we go, Salsa Tutorial. Create event. Now here's our event. Now if we go to enter the event, you can start the event or you can edit. So we want to edit it. So we want to go up here to settings and from in here, you can change the start date, end date, the location, host info. You can enable, enable a passcode so you can use a passcode to enter or exit the event. So we're going to disable the passcode. For modes, you can select what modes you want to be active within the event, video, GIF, photo, boomerang, gallery. I usually don't do video. Uh, I don't know why I just haven't been doing it, mainly because I don't have an external microphone for the audio. So I don't think it would uh, have the, the wow factor that it deserves. As far as filters, this is gonna be your photo filters, just like Instagram. Uh, I usually don't turn these on just because it uh, gives the people that much more stuff to click on and they take up that much more time. Um, if I were to select these, I might add a few, um, but for the most part, you don't really need them. Uh, if one of I would add would be the mono one that's black and white, that'd be kind of cool for some, some pictures. Um, I'm going to skip over overlays because that's kind of an important one. We're going to come back to that. So camera settings is where you can go in here. And what you can do is select uh, white balance. You can set the white balance. You can set the aspect ratio. You can pair with the LEDs. So this is one thing that I want to show you. So pair with LEDs, click pair pair successful. Now what that's going to do is allow us to adjust the LED ring here on the back. So let's go into sharing. That's next sharing. That's going to be how we can share the photos, email, text, airdrop. Let's go ahead and turn airdrop on because a lot of people have iPhones. That way they can share it via airdrop. Now guest interface. This is also a pretty important one. So that's going to be where you select your backgrounds and things like that. So that's going to be basically guest presentation. So when they're, when they're using the app, so pre background is going to be the start screen. So you can go in here, you can select all sorts of different start screens. There's a lot to choose from some pretty cool ones. For now, we're just going to stick with the stock one. Same thing with the background. You can choose a bunch of different backgrounds. You can match the start screen with the background or you can do separate ones if you want. Um, the LED branding, this is pretty cool. You go in here, you can select solid color or pattern mode. So if you wanted to do pattern mode, you select that and it's gonna select different options for the pattern of what's going on during, during the photos. So we'll just go to solid color, have it be red. So basically that's what the, what the mode the booth is going to be in while no one's using it. Right? So basically while it's just sitting there, that's, that's, what's going to be happening is red. So actually let's change it to a different one. We'll go red and white. So now it's going to live gallery. This is your live gallery settings. So gallery view lead section, you can add logo taglines, that type of stuff. You can completely customize this. I haven't done a lot with this, to be honest with you, 
but uh, like you can go into preview the gallery view it's going to take you to the website show you what the gallery is going to look like that type of stuff you can do a whole lot of customization there and honestly like i said i haven't dealt with that a ton um, but it is something that i'm going to uh, get dialed in and ready to go before this wedding season so now let's go back up to overlays because this is one that i think is pretty important so you can add overlays this is where the customization comes in and this is where you're able to really stand out from the other photo booth companies because a lot of these guys don't have this type of offerings you know they do have the the overlays for the prints and stuff like that but uh, they're not going to be willing to customize them as much as we are hopefully and it's not going to be as easy for them to do it they're probably going to pay a graphic designer and i'm going to show you guys how to do that in photoshop here in a little bit so if you go into change, what I'm gonna do is I started a little folder. It's called photo booth overlays right here. So click on that. So I only have two in here. This one you can't see because it's actually white. But this is the one I did from New Year's Eve. It's just got uh, 2020, my logo, the bars logo, and that's about it. So we'll select that one as the overlay. And then we're gonna go back into here and we're gonna go to start event. Start. So this is gonna be our start screen tap to start we're gonna do a photo five four three two one as you can see the overlay is there and after it takes the picture it flips the flips the image around so you can read it everything's good to go pardon the messy closet in the background so we're gonna to go to retake and to exit you triple click on the corner and we're gonna go back to dashboard and that's about it so that's a basic rundown of inside the app. Next, what I'm gonna do is take you guys upstairs to the computer, and I'm gonna show you how I create my overlays within Photoshop. All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do is jump over. I'm gonna share my screen here in just a second, uh, and we're gonna jump into Photoshop. And from Photoshop, I'm gonna show you how I edit my overlays. Um, you can also make custom start screens i haven't dabbled in that yet but i've been told that it's not crazy hard to do um, some people have used canva and um, some other third-party sites to to make those uh, as far as i'm concerned the start screen um, the, the ones that come with the salsa app have been more than enough and more than customizable you know, for any event that I've done. But you could create custom start screens as well with say the bride and the groom's uh, photo in the background or, you know, things like that. And, uh, and you can, you know, just another way to customize. But for right now, I'm just gonna show you the actual photo template and uh, how to customize that. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and uh, we'll get started. All right, guys, so right here, I've already got it kind of opened up. <clears throat> you can download when you buy the salsa they send you a welcome package and within that welcome package is some folders um, this one that I'm going to show you here is going to be the just some of the templates that they give you they give you a ton honestly so uh, it's a great starting point and you now just to show you here these are some PNGs um, heart with hearts with arrows um, there's just palm trees, flowers, jungle, you know, all sorts of just different stuff. 80s, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, and then also they give you these Photoshop files, which these are pretty cool because you can open them. They're already the size that you need and you can just kind of customize them from there. Uh, like I'll show you this particular one. Let's just, just for, just for demonstration purposes here, let me show you this one right here. Some of the texts are gonna be missing because I just don't have all these text files. But anyway, here's a, an example here, you know, and there's just so many things you can do within Photoshop. If you're not familiar with Photoshop, just watch some YouTube videos and get yourself trained. Uh, you can actually get Photoshop, uh, just, just Photoshop alone, Photoshop and I think Lightroom for like $10, $15 a month uh, through the Adobe Suite. Um, if you're interested in, you know, making YouTube videos or anything like that, you can do the whole Adobe setup for around I think 30 or 35 dollars a month, so you'll get uh, you know um, Adobe Audition for you know if you want to record mixes and do podcasts and that type of stuff. Um, After Effects, you can mix a lot of cool stuff in that. Um, they also have uh, Premiere Pro, which is very similar to Final Cut, which is what I use. Uh, then you can get Photoshop. You get the whole suite. Um, but anyway, back to Photoshop. 
So what's cool about this is you can do things like, you know, make this color overlay go away, uh, change the color here. Um, you know, there's just all sorts of stuff here that you can do. So like within here, you could change the colors of the palm trees, or if you wanted to completely get rid of the palm trees, you can get rid of them. You can come in here and you can, you can click text and we can change the text because I don't have that font. So I could change it to whatever I wanted it to be. Just um, salsa. Tutorial. Delete, delete this text, move this over. So you come up here, change your font to whatever you want. Let's do that one just for demonstration purposes. Change the font size. Let's bump this up to 200. Okay, now I can have this down at the bottom. First, actually, let's get rid of this one. Get rid of the and, we'll get rid of the date. Boom, we got salsa tutorial. So <clears throat> this gradient here, you can click blending options. So under blending options here, we can do a color overlay. So we can change the color of that. Change it to whatever color we want. So you want it to be lime green, change it to lime green. All right, there we go. Now, if we go back to our finder here, we can do things like, go back to downloads, templates here, go into our PNG, let's do what's burst. So cool, I like that one. So we'll drag burst onto here as a PNG. Boom, Hit enter, boom. So also with this little burst thing over the top of it, that's pretty cool. Now what we can do from here, <clears throat> say we wanna export this and put it onto our iPad. So what we're gonna do is go file, save as. Now we wanna save this as a PNG. We're gonna call this salsa to can't spell tutorial. Tutorial. We want to save it to my let's see, where's desktop at? Save it to my desktop. It's not a PF. It's a PSD, it's a PNG. <clears throat> All right, save it to our desktop, save. Now that photo is gonna be saved to our desktop. Now from there, all you're gonna to wanna to do is, let me get out of here real quick. All right, now from there, all you're gonna to wanna to do, right click, hit share if you have a MacBook, an Apple product, hit share. And I just airdrop it directly to my iPad. You'll find it within the photos. Uh, and then when you click overlays within the Salsa app, you just select that picture. Boom, it's all of a sudden your overlay for your event. So super easy, super straightforward. I showed you guys how to add that earlier. So that's basically how I do it, guys. It's honestly super simple. I've uh, never found, out of all the, the iPad apps and stuff that I've tried, I haven't found one nearly as simple as this one. All right, my friends, that concludes this short little tutorial. You know, if you're if you're relatively computer savvy, I definitely think you can figure this out with Photoshop. There's also some other free programs out there that allow you to, you know, edit the Photoshop files and things like that that are free. I just happen to use Photoshop because it's the program that I have and I'm, you know, familiar with it just from making flyers and things like that from uh, my club days. But if you're hesitant, if you're on the fence about buying the salsa booth, don't be. Pull the trigger, purchase it, you won't regret it. Mine's already paid for itself, and I've only had it for just over a month. 
Uh, I've, got, I've got, you know, put it, put it out on a couple free gigs and from that and other advertising, I've been able to get this thing booked out enough times to pay for itself. Uh, and now it's gonna be all profit from here on out. So definitely worth it. Definitely a great add-on to my DJ business. And uh, honestly, I'm already considering buying a second one. So if you do want to purchase the Salsa Booth, link in the description. It is an affiliate link. I do get a little bit of a kickback there, but let me tell you, it helps promote this channel, helps me buy new equipment, you know, helps me to uh, keep making you guys these awesome videos. So, or help support this channel by uh, purchasing your, your Salsa Booth through that link, guys. All right, if you're new around here, please subscribe, please click that like button, and please click that notification bell so you can get notifications on my upcoming videos. I'll catch up to you guys in the next one. Peace.